Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a humongous beauty haul. Now, I uh, was like 10 minutes into this video and I realized I wasn't recording. And I had already thrown the packaging like into my little garbage pile right here in front of me. So I'm just going to quickly show you the things that I had already started with that's already out of the packaging because I already hauled it. I just wasn't recording. So I'm going to do the drugstore portion first and then I'll get into high-end products. So let's talk about all the drugstore goodies. This video is going to be so long. I got a ton of stuff. It was so requested to do a haul recently. People are like, you haven't done one in like three months. Go buy some stuff and haul it. So I got these two brushes at Target. This is something I already hauled. These are the Target Up and Up brushes. Up and Up is the Target brand. And I picked up their powder brush and their blush brush. And I know I have like a 6 million brushes, but the reason why I wanted to get these, besides the fact that I've heard amazing things from my friend Laura and from Emily Noel, the reason why I really wanted to get this is when I do my full face drugstore tutorials, I love incorporating affordable brushes in those videos too. And these are super, super affordable. So they feel amazing, like really, really soft. I cannot wait to use these. I also got this Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo. I got mine in uh, soft brown. I had never seen this before. I haven't really heard that many people talking about it. And when I saw it at Walgreens, I picked it up at Walgreens, I was really excited. This is like nothing I've ever seen before because you have, uh, you have the product on one side, like a brow wiz, a regular brow wiz on one side. And on the other side right here, you have a powder so you pretty much fill in your brows and then you set it with this powder and it really intrigued me because i always set my brow wizzes with a powder so i thought this would be an amazing idea the only thing that's like mm, is that obviously it doesn't have a spoolie because it has the powder on the other side but i would have to go in and use a spoolie but this could be genius this could be amazing for traveling i'll just take a spoolie by the way if i sound a little raspy me and my mom were having like a huge debate on Brad Pitt yesterday and we were like yelling at the top of our lungs okay so I got a highlight from the brand Wet n Wild their Fergie collection and I got the highlight in the shade uh, Hollywood Boulevard and what really intrigued me about this is that it has pink and gold veining throughout it so I thought this would be really good and it swatches beautifully like not chunky not streaky I'm not wearing it I'm wearing champagne pop but let me just I mean I'm wearing a lot of champagne pop but let me just throw this on just so we can see Ooh, I just went from 0 to 100 I think this one is limited edition so definitely get your hands on it Hollywood Boulevard it has such a beautiful sheen. Even when I swatched it on my fingers, I knew it was a good one. And it's so affordable. What a wild. Always got the right prices. Okay, so this is going to be really weird. Like, this is going to sound extremely weird. But I got the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. I got this at Publix, and I want to say it was like 10 bucks. It has 3.3 fluid ounces. It doesn't have alcohol in it. And the reason why I bought this is because Nikki Tutorials uses this and says it's amazing as a primer because of the glycerin. That kind of threw me off, but it intrigued me at the very same time. So I wanted to buy it and I wanted to see if maybe you guys would be interested in doing a like first impressions kind of video where I only put it on half of my face. Like I prime with this on only half of my face and not the other half and see how the makeup is at the end of the day with using this as a primer. And hopefully it doesn't break me out or clog my pores. It is for sensitive skin, so hopefully it doesn't do that. But I think that would be really, really interesting. This I actually got off the Milani website. If you saw my liquid lipstick review from Milani, they came out with limited edition Amore Matte lip creams and I was telling you guys that I wanted crush so bad but it was sold out at Walgreens they restocked all of them on the Milani website I don't exactly know by the time you're watching this if it's still in stock but when I saw that they restocked them I ran and I bought crush it's such a pretty brown red and I really like these they're affordable and I really like them so I picked up crush 
So as we get closer to like the holidays, I wanted to do a full like really intense green makeup tutorial and I wanted to include like a drugstore green and I didn't really have an emerald green from the drugstore. So I picked this little bad boy up. This is the L'Oreal um, Infallible Eyeshadow in Golden Emerald and it's such a stunning green. These are so intense and pigmented and I think that this would look so pretty all over the lid. So expect me using this in a tutorial in the future. I finally decided to pick up a Maybelline Fit Me Powder for my entire face. I use 135 Creamy Natural under my eyes all the time because it's amazing and I was like, why haven't I tried one that like matches my skin tone so I could use it on my face? So that's what I did. I got 220 Natural Beige and it does look a little bit light for me but I've noticed that when I set my face with a powder that's like a little bit dark or like too much like my skin tone, I can see it when I set it. Is that weird? That's just how I feel. So I always go like a shade lighter. So I got 220 Natural Beige and this powder is amazing for dry skin. It doesn't emphasize any dryness, but if you have oily skin, they have a matte version. Alrighty then. So the rest of these products I got at Ulta. Ulta, Ulta. I decided to jump in and buy some more essence products. Essence is like under $5, like almost everything is under $5 and they're so underrated. Their products are actually really, really nice. So I got two more of their Silky Touch blushes because I have the shade Baby Doll. Something, yeah, I have Baby Doll and it's beautiful. I used it in my wedding makeup tutorial. Amazing. So I decided to pick up this one. This one's in the shade Autumn Peach. It's a really pretty corally peach color. This is actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now but I lightly dabbed it on like you can barely see it I just wanted a hint of warmth and it's beautiful these are so good and they're like two bucks so good and then I got this one this is in the shade adorable it's a very 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 soft light Barbie kind of pink but it's not too intense it's just so pretty so I got those two I highly recommend them and then I got two essence lipsticks these two right here. This is from their regular line. Like they have these year round and I got this shade barely there. It's like a dark, dark mauve color. I really, really love it. These Essence lipsticks, amazing. You mean they smell a little bit like drugstore lipsticks, but very faint. Nothing like L'Oreal. And then this is from their like new nude collection. And this one is in the shade Cool Nude. It's also a mauve, but a little bit lighter than that one. And then I got three Essence lip liners because they're amazing. So, so good. I have the lip liner in the shade Satin Mauve. And if you don't have that lip liner from Essence, go buy it. It's like $2. Amazing, guys. Such a good lip liner. So creamy. And they're wooden lip liners, but they are so creamy. They're better than MAC lip liners. MAC wooden lip liners because I really love their Pro Longwear lip liners, but the wooden ones, these are better than those. So I picked up three other colors I would be interested in. Interested in. <laughs> this one is in the shade Femme Fatale. It's a red. For some reason, I don't have like a true cherry drugstore red lipstick, red lip liner. Can I speak? And then I got this one. I thought this would be perfect for fall. This is Honey Berry. It's a really pretty berry shade. And then I got in the nude because it's just a classic nude color. Okay, for NYX products. I bought this because Laura, Mrs. Lola Lynn, was wearing it in a makeup tutorial. And it looked so beautiful that I bought it the second I saw her applying it to her face. This is just a regular eyeliner. These are not new. These are so old. It's their Slide On Glide On um, eyeliner in the shade Golden Bronze. I thought this would be like the most ideal, most perfect fall eyeliner in the world. It's such a beautiful copper shade, like a reddish goldeny copper. It's amazing. She was completely right. If you don't have this eyeliner, go get it. It's perfect for this time of year. Perfect. And then finally, finally, I was able to snag um, three of their liquid suede cream lipsticks. These are similar to liquid lipsticks but I hear that these don't dry down completely matte which kind of throws me off but then at the same time it kind of intrigues me like hmm, how does it feel on the lips then what is the deal so I got three of them they finally restocked it on Ulta I got 
Kitten Heels, a beautiful holiday red. Then this one, it's just like a an everyday kind of pink shade. It's called Tea and Cookies. And then this one in the shade Sandstorm, it's like a nude but a brown, like a brown nude. And then the rest of the products I got at Ulta were nail products. So every time OPI comes out with a new collection, I always look at it, maybe buy one, maybe two shades from the new collection, but I've never been like, wow, I love this freaking collection in such a long time. But I was like, wow, I love this collection for their new Venice fall collection. All the colors are beautiful. Half of the colors are not very fall appropriate when it comes to nail polish, but I mean, who cares? They're like kind of pastel-y. But the whole collection is beautiful. So I bought this little set of the Venice collection, fall, winter, 2015. This comes with four nail polishes and it kind let me show you. Isn't this necklace beautiful? I really like it. This first one is called A Great Opportunity. And I actually wore this nail polish at my best friend's baby shower. And I could not stop staring at my nails. It's such a pretty melon shade. I don't have anything like it. It's so stunning. I loved it so much that I just purchased the big bottle. And it's on its way. <laughs> and I bought it because these are amazing. I love these to travel with but I just go through these quicker. But honestly, like I, I love getting these little sets because whenever I like go to California or whenever I'm on vacation and I wanna take a nail polish, these little ones are just so much easier for me. So, but I love that shade that I needed it in a big version. So this one's called The Great Opportunity. This one is worth a pretty penne. Amore at the Grand Canal, beautiful red. This one's like a shiny metallic color. And then this one's like a black and it's called My Gondola or Yours. Surprisingly, I don't have black nail polish, but I'm into it. Recently, I've been into like black lips and black nails. I really like it, so I'm glad that it came with a little black one. And then I just couldn't get enough of this collection that I bought five full-size colors from the collection. This is the first one I was drawn to even before I bought that little set. This one is called It's a Piazza Cake. It's a Piazza Cake. This is the color I'm wearing on my nails right now. I bought it because I literally thought this was Miami Fever in a bottle. And I love matching my lips to my nails or my eyeshadow to my nails. It's like aesthetically pleasing for me. I know that's weird, but it's just something I really enjoy. So I got that one and this is another one that I was so drawn to. For some reason, I think of Hannah from Pretty Little Liars every time I see colors like this. I feel like in the first season, she really wore colors similar to this. Anyway, so this is St. Mark's The Spot, a beautiful midnight blue with a sheen. This one is Tiramisu for two. I have like a million OPI colors that look like this, but I can't get enough of nude colors. It's just so easy and it goes with everything. And then this one is called I Can Only Wear OPI. This is like a white with a hint of gray and a hint of blue. I think it's really, really beautiful. And then this one is like not very fall at all, but it's beautiful. I love blue nail polish. And this one is called Gelato On My Mind. And yeah, gelato on my mind, you're beautiful. So those were all the nail polishes I bought, a little bit excessive, but I just recently went through all of my nail polishes and gave a ton to my mom. So of course, I was the old and with the new, you know? Okay, so now let's move on to the things I bought at Sephora. The rest of these products are high-end. Wow, this video is a million years long. Five things from the Sephora brand. I never buy anything from the Sephora collection, but you know what, I was like, I'm gonna try out Sephora brand stuff. I got this. This is the Sephora Ultimate Oil In Lipstick Remover. My friend Laura says that she really, really loves this because it takes off liquid lipsticks really well. And I was like, that's kind of stupid, right? I'll just use an oil or a makeup wipe and I'll get my liquid lipstick off, no big deal. But I'm constantly wearing liquid lipsticks. It's like it's the only thing I wear these days. And I thought it might come in handy and it was so affordable. So. I thought it was like pretty gimmicky, but pretty interesting at the same time. It's like a liquid lipstick remover, so I'm, I'm excited for that. Then I saw this guy. It finally came back in stock. What is this happening? What is this? This finally came back in stock. I have been wanting to get my hands on this forever. It is the Mud Mask from Sephora. I heard a lot of people um, compare this to the 
Glam Glow Mud Mask, the one in the white tub. A lot of reviews on the website said that this was just as good. Some people even said that it was better than the Glam Glow Mask and it's so much cheaper. Danny loves the Glam Glow Mask. He uses it on his head all the time. So I'm gonna try this on his head and then on my face as well. Speaking of dupes, I got the Sephora brand Solid Brush Cleaner. I didn't even know that they had this. I have no idea if this is new or old, but I am a big, big, big fan of the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. It's the only thing I use to wash my brushes and to wash my Beauty Blender. And then they came out with like their... What is this? Oh my gosh! I don't know what this is for. This is like... This smells amazing. So it comes with this like rubbery thing kind of like a sigma brush glove like it's that texture with the rough and bumpiness hmm. i wonder what exactly that's for but yeah i have high hopes for this as well i hope it's just as good if not better because it smells amazing and then i got this bad boy right here this is the sephora brand like i've said it's their matte bronzer in the shade los cabos i've heard from a lot of people that this is a great contour bronzer because it is like a cool tone bronzer if I could just open these oh yeah it is very cool this is what it looks like let me swatchy swatch feels very nice and very light and like easy to blend and then the last Sephora brand thing I bought is this now this didn't have the best reviews online um, but I had a few good ones this is the radiant luminizing drops you're supposed to shake really well and drop this into your foundation to like mix. I got mine in the shade Morning Light. This is basically just like a liquid illuminator that you mix with your foundation. This looks to me like it has a little bit of shimmers in it, like a little bit of glitter particles. Like very fine glitter though, I can't tell unless I'm really close. But the ultimate test is of course mixing it with foundation. This is the Bite Beauty Cream Lip Gloss in the shade opal this was out of stock and back in stock and out of stock and back in stock and i was like why why are so many people liking like buying this is it amazing i must buy it <laughs> that's my logic so this is what it looks like it's really cute little packaging and it's just an opal like um an iridescent lip gloss that's the only thing that i was like how i can describe it it has like a pink shift when you swatch it, I haven't even tried it on my lips, but it has that really pretty iridescent pink shift. It might be good to like make your, there's a rooster out my window. There's always roosters hanging out in my yard all the time. And that wouldn't upset me, except I am terrified of them. This might be good to just use like in the center of your lips to make your lips look juicier. We shall see. And then my friend Sarah from the Beauty Buzz Hub told me that this was a really good product. This is the Clinique just browsing brush on styling mousse pretty sure this is a new product it looks really similar to like the bottom lash mascara only it's brown what color did i get mine in light brown these doesn't look like brown it's not like the um benefit give me brow because the benefit give me brow does have like little fibers in it and this doesn't it's just like a mousse so i'm really excited to use this to see if it's one of those products that it's great like completely on its own i got this I was so suckered into buying this because of the packaging, because it looks cool. Ugh, I'm such a fool. This is the, this is brand new, pretty much. This is the Glam Glow Pout Mud. It's for your lips. So you have the Wet Lip Balm Treatment and the Fizzy Lip Exfoliating Treatment. So you put this part on first, the Fizzy Lip, and then you apply the Balm Treatment. And I think you like leave it overnight. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't even opened this yet. Oh my gosh, these look like Pokeballs. What? This is what they look like. Okay, this one says fizzy mud and this one says wet mud. It says to apply to your lips and massage for five to 10 seconds to pre-exfoliate. Gently massage with water to activate fizzing renewal action. So you massage it a little bit for 10 seconds and then add water. Keep massaging and then rinse with warm water. Use two to three times per week. And then after you do the fizzy one, to apply evenly to lips, use day and or night as often as desired. So I would probably just leave it overnight. I'm going to try this today for the first time and then I will update you guys in another video. Maybe a favorite or a product I regret buying. Because this was, this was hella expensive. That's expensive, 100%. It's like $20 per ball. Because this was like a $40 product. 
It's like sugary. Doesn't smell the best. It smells kind of like mint, and I don't like the scent of mint. Gray. <laughs> I want to see what this smells like. I hope it doesn't smell minty. Yep, it does. Beautiful. Okay, now that we were on that subject for four hours, I got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I already have this, but I have my self tanning shade and I didn't have one when I am this color. So I bought it. I'm in the shade 140 equals Y305, like the new color is now Y305. This foundation is amazing. Quickly has become my second favorite foundation of all time. The first one being the Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation. I love this one even more than the original. I know a lot of people don't agree, but I do. So I had to pick up my regular shade. And I cannot find it anywhere, but I bought the Ultra HD Stick, like their new foundation stick that I haven't heard like barely anybody talking about. I bought that one too, can't find it. I was gonna use it today to try it for the very first time because I've never tried it before. But just know I bought that one too. I got this because I have heard everybody talking about it. Everybody has been raving about it, so I decided to buy it and see what the hype was about. This is the Tarte Swirl Power Cheek Brush. It's basically a giant fluffy contour brush, and I wasn't going to get it because I have the e.l.f. one, and the e.l.f. one is amazing, and it's like $6. But I decided to buy it. I'm really upset, though, because mine has like this weird thing here, like if the hairs were bent so it, it literally bothers me. But maybe after washing it, I could fix that problem. But yes, it's basically like a fat Eda brush, but better because the Eda brush sucks so bad. So I don't know, I'm excited to try it. It's very soft. This little thing is really gonna drive me crazy. Really crazy. And then the last two things. This is brand new. I saw it in the just arrived section at Sephora and I wanted to try it even though I didn't like the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I got mine in Fair, which this is the lightest shade and I think they could have done better and gone lighter. This is perfect for me, but for like very, 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 very fair skin, this might be too dark. So this is what it looks like. I, I actually heard really, really good things about it. And it feels really nice on the back of my hand. Really, really light weight. And then the last thing I'm a little bit disappointed in. A little bit. Last year, Bobbi Brown came out with two amazingly beautiful looking highlighters. They came out with the Bronze Glow and the Pink Glow, I believe. And I have the Bronze Glow and it's stunning. It is beautiful, but I don't use it in my videos because it was a limited edition product and I hate teasing people. But they just came out with them again. They just restocked them on Sephora and I ran to get Pink Glow because when I went to go get Pink Glow, Pink Glow was sold out. And I was only able to get Bronze Glow. So I got Pink Glow. They came out with the same things only in different packaging. My Bronze Glow is in like the most beautiful Bobbi Brown packaging ever. This one is just in this little packaging. This is what it looks like and it's so beautiful in the pan. But when I swatch it, it's like not as... Actually, my bronze glow is just so thin and like such a beautiful sheen. It applies heavenly. This one seems like it isn't as sheeny. But you know what? I have to try it out on my face. I cannot, I cannot judge this without swiping it on my cheeks first. And I would do it right now, but mama's got a lot of highlight on. So finally, I'm able to get my hands on pink glow. I'm very excited. Can't wait to put it on my face. Okay guys, so that completes this video. I know a lot of stuff. Mama went tam at the drugstore and at Sephora. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me, leave me a comment down below. If you've tried any of these products, what you think about them. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.